<laughs> I'm vlogging and the first thing that comes out of my wife's mouth is, oh God. <laughs> I, I, that's exactly the reaction I was expecting. So I'll probably just try to get some B-roll during this uh, lovely car ride to the uh, doctor and to go get Mr. Sprinkles during my episode one of my vlog, which... I hate it. I hate it. Uh, say, was that? Was that? I hate it. <laughs> uh, she's my, my uh, number one fan, as you can tell. <laughs> so I might be crazy. I think I might be crazy. Um, well, my wife and I are probably crazy. Um, we actually kind of at the last minute before taking a trip down to Arizona to see my in-laws, my wife and I have decided to sell our house before taking that trip. We have been talking about this for a little while, but we didn't expect to do it before our trip. We were planning on doing it when we got back from our trip, but then we started talking about possibly extending our trip and making it longer and not having to come home right away and just kind of see what happens. We're not selling the house because we don't want to own a home. We're selling the house because it's not the perfect home for us. We're also selling the house because we're feeling a bit unsure of the market and it's a really, really good time to sell where we're located. And since we don't want to keep that house forever and we know that we're outgrowing it, and we don't feel good about the market, we decided to sell the house and wait a little while. We're also gonna like reduce our rent by staying at my in-laws for a couple months, which will be free. And then after that, I'm gonna be moving up to my brother-in-law's place that he just rehabbed and remodeled. And we're gonna stay there for a few more months during the summer. And maybe after that, reassess the situation and decide what we want to do from there. We're also going to be saving money staying there. And I'm not sure if this is like me planning ahead. I kind of feel that way a little bit. You know, some of this money that we're going to make from this house and the equity that we made from the house before is going to go into savings and probably going to go into some investments, maybe also some small like online businesses that I want to get started in the next year or so. I might put a little bit of money into those things and some crypto and some stocks just to, you know, make sure that that I'm diversified in that sense, but we're also gonna hold on to some of our money, maybe just in a high yield savings account for the rest of it and just kind of wait it out. I'm gonna keep my job and keep working and doing what I'm doing, but I'm kind of trying to think long-term and think where I wanna be in the next few years. I'm really enjoying doing the YouTube thing and I see a lot of potential with possibly starting online businesses and using my skills for either freelancing or building products of my own or trying to build niche websites or different things that can make me money online. Maybe another YouTube channel where I review products or just get into YouTube niche channels and just kind of get different streams of income going. And the idea of doing that full time is very enticing to me, but it's not really the best plan right now. If I think out into the future and I start thinking about some of the steps that I can take in order to make that possible, selling the house and reducing our, our mortgage and reducing the bills that we have to pay every month makes it to where I can actually, you know, support my family and live comfortably making less money. And if I make a switch from software to like full-time content creator or, you know, online entrepreneur, if that's actually what I'm going to be, I'm just going to be some dude trying to make websites that make money, I guess. I don't know if that's an entrepreneur, but it's definitely in that mindset of trying to find different ways to kind of establish like passive income and financial independence eventually. And what's funny is I originally... When I started thinking about making YouTube channels, that was something that I wanted to talk about because this is something that I've been doing for a little while. I bought my first home when I was 27 and I did that on a waiter's salary and with my wife's salary as a casino dealer, we were able to purchase our first home, which then helped us make the move to our next home, which is the home that we're selling now. And it wasn't until I bought my first home that I made like a real investment when I sold my first home, that was really scary having to like pack everything up and move to a different state for a new job and not really knowing what was going to happen. Although we made a decent amount of money on that house, that risk at that point felt way greater than what we're doing now just because it was so unknown 
and so uncertain just going to a new place this time around it doesn't feel as scary which i don't know if it has to do with the fact that i've already done it once and the circumstances are similar except i'm not leaving my job and i'm not going to a new job i'm kind of keeping it and since it's remote for now until the summer i kind of have that freedom to do what i'm doing and hopefully my job stays full remote or i i don't know maybe i do decide to become a full-time content creator in you know in the next year or two and can you know keep this going to where we have the freedom to live anywhere and go anywhere because i've always toyed around with the idea of traveling more and the kids are at a young age and my wife and i aren't getting any younger so it seems like the right steps to take to do all this stuff and i feel like i'm rambling and this is going to be definitely more of a vlog episode if that's what we're going to call it but i kind of wanted to just let you guys know a little bit of what's going on and why uh you'll be seeing different backgrounds in my videos for the next few uh, months or so. And I'm gonna try to maybe vlog a little bit more about this. So I don't know if this is stuff that people are gonna wanna see in here, but if you're you know, considering making a big step or making a big change in your life and you're very like scared and unsure about what could happen and taking that risk is pretty scary. And I've done it a couple times and right now I'm in the middle of it inside an Airbnb not really sure what's going to happen once our house sells and not really sure like what we're going to do in the next few months other than just kind of hang out and go see some friends and family so it's pretty crazy when you think about it and a lot of times you don't want to take that risk because you get in your own head or other people start trying to talk you out of taking a risk because of being in a more secure situation and not wanting to jeopardize the stability in your life. And I know that we're hearing it a lot now, especially when my wife jokes around to people and tells them that, you know, I'm gonna become a full-time YouTuber and quit my Cush state job with union benefits and great health insurance and an awesome pension in order to kind of travel around and make videos and, you know, try to, build online businesses. When we say it to people, they think we're crazy. There's a couple people that are, are just as crazy as we are that are totally egging us on saying like, you can totally do it. But for the majority of the people out there that we know are pretty much just telling us that we're doing the wrong thing and telling us that we shouldn't do this right now. And honestly, I'm trying to time the market and it's almost impossible to time the market. You know, time in the market always beats timing the market, but um, I'm gonna do it because we're still in a good spot. Even if home values continue to rise, yes, I could potentially lose out money in that sense if I sold the house now and just waited a year or two and if nothing happens and everything keeps going in the same direction that it's going, then houses are gonna be more expensive for me when, I, when I'm ready to buy again. But for right now, we kind of want to just take this extra money that we have and sit on it for a while and see if maybe some other investments or opportunities open up for us. And yeah, so I don't know if this might be the first video of me becoming a digital nomad because technically right now I kind of feel like one, although it's just weird because we're in an Airbnb while our home is being staged and shown over the last weekend. And today was my first day working and getting some work done on my laptop in the Airbnb. And it kind of feels odd, but it kind of feels fun at the same time. And um, the idea of maybe trying to make this possible and having this freedom, maybe this might be like the, the first video of me becoming a completely remote digital nomad with a family. That would be crazy if we looked back in a couple of years and this was it. Maybe I'm foreshadowing, I don't know but it's kind of fun thinking about it. It's fun talking about it with my wife and all the possibilities that we have with me working on the road or starting our own business or traveling because we've got a good amount of money saved up and maybe taking a year off to go around with the kids and show them stuff. Hopefully, you know, the vaccine's out and hopefully COVID now kind of settles down a bit and we're able to go back to normal because there's a lot of stuff on my bucket list that I want to get around to doing. And I also want to include my kids and my wife in a lot of those things because why not? It's, it's what I dream of doing and it'd be really fun if I could document some of this stuff. And if you're out there and if you're worried about taking risk or stepping out of your comfort zone, um, I forget where I heard it, but getting 
comfortable being uncomfortable and that's kind of always been very true to like learning how to code and making progress in my life and the more uncomfortable I get the the better uh, reward I get from a lot of the things that I set out to do so even though we're gonna be in a very privileged position and having a decent amount of money in the bank um, which doesn't make us uncomfortable at all selling our home and going on the road for a little bit and staying with friends and family does kind of sound crazy but it sounds fun we also bought a minivan for the occasion we got rid of our other car and we're like living in a van and I'm not gonna turn into like a van life channel or anything like that we totally got like the like suburban middle class minivan um, that was on the lot <laughs> but you know that's just kind of what what we're gonna do and let's see what happens just wanted to keep you guys updated with everything that I'm doing and hopefully motivate or inspire some people to do the same thing because even though it feels crazy and it's kind of scary uh, it's a lot of fun and once we're done with all the uh, paperwork and uh, having to deal with selling a house which is probably a lot of the work that we had to do this week of cleaning and fixing stuff up and getting it ready to be shown and staging and packing all the stuff um, once we're done selling the house and we hit the road it's gonna be me working on the road and my wife and kids being there and it seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm gonna try to get like b-roll of the different places that we're driving through and try to maybe put some good footage together all right I don't know um, where this was going this is gonna be like an entry into my digital nomad life volume 1 episode 1 <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to get back to work. And thanks for watching. If you think I'm nuts, let me know in the comments if you're thinking about doing something like this or if you're worried about taking some uh, chances on something new. Let me know what you're dealing with. And I'm interested in knowing what everybody else out there feels um, maybe challenging them right now or maybe scary and unknown that they want to talk about. So, yeah, drop that down below. And I'll see you next time.